our adventures are out there and it is the saddest day of the week for us. It's departure day. <sighs> that horrible day where you realise that you probably should remember how to drive and start praying to the car gods that the car starts again in the car park. It's 7am. <sighs> Um, this is how we do departure day, so we have a long drive from this one and back home, so 7 o'clock, up, straight out, get the car, um, park outside the lodge, dump everything in it, do that dad check, you know, that, that lodge check, um, make sure that everything's in there, and go and enjoy our day. We haven't got much booked in today, um, the only thing that makes me happy on the departure day will be a big old stack of pancakes. So Pancake House is booked in for nine o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find. It is a beautiful morning. I'll turn the camera around and we will get this day on the way. All right, guys, as you can see, the gates open and the floodgates of traffic come pouring in. Um, the gates open at 5 a.m. Yes, you heard me right, 5 a.m. Um, if you do have any problems during your stay, uh, then go and speak to guest services. Um, you can give them a phone call or pop in, let them know what's occurring. Um, and on occasions, in an emergency, stuff like that, you are obviously allowed to leave and take your car on site and do what you've got to do. Um, they, they do actually help you, don't they, members of staff, if you need to get out and stuff. And I think they drive around with their electric car and help you out. Um, but yeah, we are off to the car. All right, guys, so yeah, on departure day, just make sure we're looking after uh, the little ones and each other and stuff because it is a bit of a rat race. Obviously, the people that are coming in now they haven't driven for a week, um, and then at four o'clock the newbies arrive as well and they'll be rat racing about so whilst you've got to be at your lodge by 10 a.m you're allowed to stay on site till midnight um, which is really good if you want to have another day and stuff um, yeah you can book your activity you can still use the swimming pool subtropical swimming paradise and all of that um, but yeah you've just got to be careful um, because as you can see cheers um, yeah just loads of cars which is new and very different um, say so little ones probably weren't too involved in the arrival day and stuff like that and this is seven o'clock in the morning um, and you can already see a huge difference between our other vlogs and this one and how uh, peaceful and tranquil it was and this is where that uh, dropped pin comes in to great virtue um, as we frantically try and find the car we're not frantically trying to find it, we're winding you up, we know exactly what we're doing. Fingers crossed. Well, if there was any doubt. get that one person don't you going the wrong way around the one-way system and everyone tooting their horns at them oh people hi lodge bye dear having a clean bye mate look at it it is 8.22, we are 8 minutes ahead of schedule. Spot That's how we do it. So it's 8.30, car is in the car park, everything is packed up, we are done with the lodge. You don't need to leave the windows open anymore, so that was pretty new, because every time, every time recently, in recent years, wasn't it, you gotta leave your windows wide open. Um, but yeah, um, really weird. So we got the car at seven o'clock, and so did quite a few other people, and they parked their cars outside their lodges at 7 a.m., and they just sat there, doing nothing. It's like, 
What's the point? I'm really confused. So if you can let me know in the comments um, what the fudging are those people playing at, because absolute bizarre. It, it, why go and get your car at seven o'clock in the morning an hour and a half later and still be sat there doing nothing? It's just bizarre. Um, first time ever <clears throat> we've seen um, deer in the car park um, running about on the park today, which, yeah, put the fear of God in us a little bit. Um, we are dropping off our wristbands. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, on the park today, make sure you drop your wristbands in the bins. Very kindly demonstrated by the wife and it's pancake time. All right, guys, we are off down to the pancake house. So you don't have to leave your wristband straight away as soon as you get out of the car park. That was just, we're not going for a swim today. So we don't need them anymore and we're done with the lodge. Um, yeah, didn't need them with the windows open. We've left the dishwasher on with everything in it. Um, yeah, just had a bit of a tidy up. The deers came to say goodbye. I don't know if I've got any decent footage of them. Um, but yeah, just had a little clean in the woods, weren't they? After finishing off the carrots, loads of squirrels. I was doing the car, apparently a squirrel came in the lodge. I'm, I'm not sure how much I believe this story. There's no evidence of it. Um, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, but yeah, people driving around like absolute nutters as per standard. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're looking after yourselves and each other because yeah. I, Stop at the zebra crossing because not everyone knows it's there and they just carry on driving. Yeah, especially and if you've got little ones hold their hands. We came round the corner by the um, by the subtropical swimming paradise and this girl in the Range Rover thing must have been doing about 30, 40. Just mentality of some people when it's this time in the morning kids are out on their bikes still and stuff just absolutely stupid um but that aside that's not center parks fault that's the mentality of the great british public and we're going to the pond Hello Pancake House. same thing as well I was going to do the um, gingerbread special Christmas festive thing um, I just couldn't I just couldn't betray my banoffee pancakes I just couldn't do it to them I'm, I'm sorry guys I was going to rate and review something else but just couldn't do it um, but yeah 29.29 for regular stack small stack other coffee or an orange juice not too bad quite a few of you reached out um, overnight regarding uh, Regin de Pradesh last night um, it, it is expensive. On, on reflection, yes, it is expensive. It was 120 quid for our meal last night. Um, and it is probably the most expensive meal that we've ever had at Centre Parks. Um, it was our treat. We, it was our only meal out. 
in the night. Um, we cooked in the lodge and I did have that festive snack pot thing from the festive fair one night. So it is our only meal out. Um, 120 quid, yeah, it is really expensive, but I've just spent 30 quid on pancakes and a coffee. So, <laughs> perspectives. Um, it's Santa Parks, it is what it is. We're not knocking it, we love it here. Um, it is our treat, you know, we save up every year, um, you know, to have this little treat, so, but. Anything to add on that? Everything, but the meal was really nice. It's just it, it's not as cheap as a regular curry house. That's all we get back home. Yeah, like everything at Santa Park, Starbucks here is more expensive than Starbucks back at home. It's you know you're paying for where you are and what you're doing. Um, and yeah, I suppose you know the prices. They're online, guys. You know you know what it is before you come here. Um, so you can book in what's within your budget or you know you push it back a couple of months save a little harder whatever you've got to do to make it work for you we're all different um, this is how we do it um, and it, it's worked for us um, on departure day wise we would have done exactly the same this morning if we were staying on park wouldn't we we were having that chat um, so if we were staying here for a bit longer you know having a swim um, you know having an activity or staying for lunch would have done exactly the same get to the lodge as soon as we're up get everything in the car get the car back to the car park drop that pin and then go and enjoy your day only difference would have been i would have had a backpack on my back with some swimming shorts in it that's that's the only difference we've changed our mind the christmas shop has a half price sale on <laughs> but it doesn't open till 10 so we're in the sports hall um just gonna have a look around jewels and sort ourselves out Anybody have breakfast in a sports cafe? Let us know. Drop it in the comments. Let us know. Is it worth a trip? Never done it. Any of the trips we've ever been on here. Never had breakfast in here before. Um, yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts. Might be something we have to do next time. It's just come up to 10 o'clock on day five. A really good time to get your foot pool on and your badminton. Anybody had a go? Everyone else coming the other way at 10 o'clock, which was exactly as five days ago. <sighs> Depressing. Right. Highlight, love. Highlight would probably be, be having the real tree to decorate because we have a naughty cap, so we don't get a real tree. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. Um, Oh, I don't know. We put ourselves on the spot because I, have, I haven't prepped any of this. So, um, uh, I'm going to go with those unexpected things, the ones what we didn't think we'd like and enjoy. So, like badminton and reef making. You can only have one. I'm going to go with badminton. <laughs> I'm going to go with badminton. I don't know why. Um, it was just, Funny. yeah. I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. Um, turned out to be all right ish at it um the video will say otherwise um but yeah that's my unexpected highlight unexpected low light um mine's very pernickety but probably my snotty eggs at the hux santa brunch oh you did have snotty poached <laughs> eggs you did okay uh, mine's going to be the massages controversial so the massages themselves absolutely great the girls were lovely can't fault it it was amazing i came out feeling awesome I then had to put my clothes back on <laughs> and all the oils that you're told to keep on your body for as long as possible went all over my shirt, my trousers, my socks um, and yeah just didn't feel... It wasn't much of a relaxed experience no. sitting in the waiting area. Yeah the actual, the actual massage was awesome but then not having that after treatment room which is called the after treatment room and we had a treatment and then we didn't get to use the after treatment room so really weird really weird to us and i, I do strongly suggest center parks have a strong think about that um it just seems absolutely bizarre i know you can it does say before use of spa activities bar facilities and all that um to book the three hour session but we didn't want that we, we didn't want the spa we didn't want any access to it we didn't want to use the swimming pool anything there is an after treatment room and at longley we got given a robe, we got given a towel just for the massage and we got to use that room. Um, and that's what we thought we were going to have here uh, for the same price, still 100 quid. 
Um, but no, no robes, no towels, no changing rooms, nothing. You get put down a side corridor, you get put up there for a massage, you sit there with everybody else in their robes and you're still in your boots and jeans and jackets and everything. And then you've got to, yeah, get changed in the room. Um, the ladies leave, gents, if you're interested, they do leave. Um, yeah, it just felt really bizarre for us. Um, it wasn't a relaxing experience. Um, and to be honest, I, I do love your centre parks, but I'm not gonna do it again. Um, until you sort that out, I'm not doing it. Um, it's just for 100 quid for a 55 minute massage. In and out. <laughs> in and out job. And it does feel like an in and out job. You are literally whisked in there. You, you are say, they do say, oh, you're allowed to stay in the waiting room if you want and have a warm tea. But I'm in my own clothes and I'm not walking across the park in a dressing gown that I've brought myself. It just seems a bit bizarre. Um, but yeah, that's us. We are back to the car. We dropped our pin. Um, we didn't get the same space that we left. My OCD came out. Um, but yeah, we're off, guys. Um, hopefully it's been helpful to you. Um, we need to get on the road. We've got three and a half, four hours ahead of us. Um, drop us a like, comment and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think we could do differently as well because that's what this channel's for. It's not all for us, it's for you guys as well. Um, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, guys. Our next one is... Where are we going? In between Twix, with that Twixmas break, isn't it? We are off to Hengisbury Head. Yeah. Hengisbury Head, down on the south coast. So um, stay around for that. That'll be coming after this one. Um, but yeah, take care, stay safe, guys, and we will see you next time.